Okay, I got two projectiles. This one is bimetal. This one is pure, well, more copper. There's no bimetal in there. Magnet. Fix that up. Let's pick that one up. We're going to do a hardness test comparison and see how much harder, if at all, the bimetal projectile is over the non bimetal. That's the bimetal. I'm going to do a preload. What's that number? 37.3. 37.3, was that C, B? It's not C. 30 T. 30 T. Alright. So 37.3? Okay. 3. And that's on the bimetal. Okay, this is the non bimetal copper jacket. Really low? It's going right off the scale. Yeah, it's off the scale. Okay, it's too soft? It's too soft. Okay, we're running the non bimetal again on a 15T scale. It's a lower, lower hardness scale. And it's coming out, what, 40? No, no. Not, not yet. Oh, that's the preload. Yes. 59.5. All right, 59.5, 15T. Okay, here's the bimetal. 15T. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. So, what was the other one? Fifty-nine and a half. Fifty-nine and a half to eighty-seven is the difference. So that's but the other one is up here at eighty-seven. Okay. Right. Uh huh. Eighty-seven fifteen T, which is about eighty-four Rockwell B okay. for steel. So eighty-four. There's eighty-four versus. Off the chart, zero. Yes. <laughs> so it's it's quite a significant difference. Yes. Um, the reason why is is there's there's a lot of talk about how the bimetal projectiles can can wear out your barrel a lot faster. But I mean, you're talking about that versus a a hardened steel barrel. I don't know how hard a steel barrel would be. A hardened steel bar barrel is going to be in the C range, probably. High 20s, low 30s, I would think. So maybe it's a little, it's a little bit harder, maybe maybe upper 30s. Right. So even though it is harder, it, it's definitely not anything that's going to damage the barrel of a rifle, right? Well, uh, well, you got more abrasion. There's more abrasion, and I mean, there there would be more wear if you would run, you know, I don't know, say 10,000 rounds of this stuff. Right. Which is 84 Rockwell B uh -huh. through a barrel, which is only 30 C. Mm -hmm. Okay, now 100, 100 B is equal to about, it's right in here, about 23, 22, okay? Mm -hmm. But there would be more wear. Right. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. You would wear at the barrel quicker, shooting a harder, harder case. Right. But I guess that the question would be how much faster compared to that just I, pure lead. Yeah, there there was a uh, there was a, a a torture test where these guys had four different ARs, and they shot copper through two of them and two mm -hmm. types of uh, mm -hmm. bimetal through two others, and they said around five thousand rounds. Now this is continuous shooting. No cleaning, no lubrication, no nothing. Yeah. After five thousand rounds, 
uh, they, you know, they had their first failure, and then they thought they they shot ten thousand rounds, and they did get I can't remember it was like sixty thousand wear in the diameter of the barrels of the bimetal. So there is wear. It's it's documented, but you got to go through ten thousand rounds. So, um, okay, so that's definitive that it is it is hard dirt, uh, but. What's the significance? Well, I, I I don't know. We'll you'll we'll never really know. That could be wrong in the hardness yeah. of the barrel. The barrels could be harder than that. Yeah. Too. yeah. It could be. I'll bring I'll it, bring it could my. Could be up in the forties. I'll bring my barrel in. We can test it. <laughs> you want to put a dent in your barrel? I don't care. Yeah, it's just a dent. Yeah, it's just a dent. Especially around the the muzzle. You know, that that's where your lowest pressures are yeah. in the muzzle. So, well, I'll bring it in. I don't have a problem okay. with that. Either that or or, or, or uh, at the face of the chamber or something. All right. Cool. size in there. Let's get it about to what it is. About 22. Yeah. You know, if they would harden it, they would harden the whole barrel. Yeah. So, Twenty-two, huh? Twenty-two rock see. All right. Well, now we know. What sick wall was that? Got us another traffic jam. Yes, sir. Hopefully, nobody's hurt. But it's a fact of life around here. Anyway, I wanted to close out this video uh, and say that I'm gonna have to get a lead tester, but just to show that I did try to test the hardness of this lead, but the equipment I have access to doesn't go down that far. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later. Nope. Too nope. soft. Way too soft. Okay, so you need something even softer, huh? So this is 15T. Nope, still too soft, huh? Still too soft. Hmm. Yeah. You see that? The ball is buried the whole way up in... Yeah. Whole, the whole way up there, I can't... Hmm. That's as low as I can go. Try a... Uh, here. Alright, it's factory hard cast 15T. It's trying. It's a little harder. It's a lot harder than a wheel weight. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Still, didn't, still too soft, huh? Didn't work, no. Yeah, it's still too soft. Huh. So that's the still that's the soft. lowest lowest scale you got, and that's the hardest bullet I got. Yep. Okay, there's a big slab. No, it's too soft. Yeah. yeah, it's not even on the scale. I wonder if like uh Midway USA has some kind of 
lead hardness checkers, you know, for bullet casters. I don't, I don't know. know. I have to look.